Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Trojans. My name is Marissa. And I'm Vanessa. Today is Tuesday, April 19th, and here's your news for today. Are you interested in the Florida wildlife and the environment? Here's a summer opportunity you don't want to miss. The Conservancy has openings for this summer's high school student counselors in training for our summer camp. There are one, two, or three work week shifts available, and the hours count toward the community service. This is also known as CIT program. Students must be at least 16 years old to apply. <laughs> Please see a flyer and a job description located in the guidance slash student services office. NHS will be having a mandatory meeting today after school in room 1201. This is to inform members of changes to Lely's National Honor Society program. It will only take 15 to 20 minutes, so it should not interfere with any other activities. Here's a quick video about why you should pick up your trash. Welcome to the Lely Cafeteria. There's too many of y'all to be leaving your trash behind. Y'all can't be leaving your trash around anymore. I'm tired of this garbage, literally. You need to pick up all that mess, take it, and throw it away. And here's how you do it. Wow, finessing. Whoa, she threw away a whole chicken sandwich. Take that trash out, girl. That boy be balling. Oh my god. Now here's what you don't do. Wow, are you serious? These people work too hard, man. They don't deserve this. This is reckless. Oh, my God. Your mom ain't here to pick up after you. If you leave the school looking like trash, you're trash. And on the off chance that young Metro don't trust you, well. Seniors, interested in tryouts for delivering a speech at graduation? Please drop by with your speech in Mr. Alvarez's room in 3147 by April 29th. Remember, your speech needs to be less than three minutes. Scholarship season is in full swing. The scholarship board and the guidance is replenished with new postings. You really don't want to miss out on this. We even received a new scholarship for a student athlete called the Buddy Qualls Memorial. Be sure to take a look at the scholarships either online or on the board in the guidance. Seniors, when you win a scholarship, you are most likely the only one notified by either mail or email. We really want to be able to recognize you during Senior Award Night on May 23rd. We are asking for your help to make this extra special event. If you are notified that you have won a scholarship award, please tell your counselor. You can let your counselor know in person or through email. We really appreciate it. Stay tuned for a message from Ms. Keegan. That's all for your news today, Laylee. It's a great day to be a Trojan. Announcements for today. First thing is, very important, all students that have a parking permit and drive to school, if you park in the band parking lot in the back, I need you to see Miss Ochoa by Thursday. Please, you have to see Miss Ochoa by Thursday if you currently park in the band parking lot in the back by the um, deputy's trailer. Uh, we are having a track meet on Friday and we will need that parking lot, so she is going to inform you of where you can park uh, in a different spot on Friday. So please don't let us have to tow your car because you didn't follow through and go see Ms. Ochoa. So go see her at some point before Thursday at dismissal. If you are an AP student and you did not come to the pre-administration meeting in the cafeteria where we did the bubbling in of the scantrons, then I need you to come see me. We are going to have another one on Thursday, third period, down in the driver's ed room. I believe that is 2107. So third period, you will be excused. You'll be SRA'd for that class. If you're not sure if you did it, if you missed out on something, come see me before then. I'll make it another announcement. But all AP students that did not do the bubbling in will come Thursday, third period. If you are unable to be there, also come see me, and we'll set up a separate time for you to come and do it before the exams. All AP exams are starting a week from Monday, so we don't have much time to get those done. Also, AP students. You will be SRA'd for the day of your exam. So if you have an 8 o'clock exam, you are expected to be here at 7.30, and then after the test, you'll be done. If you have a 12 o'clock exam, you are expected to be here at 11.30, and you do not have to be at school during the morning time. You will be SRA'd. If you have any questions, please come see me. For those of you that are taking FSA or an EOC in the next few weeks, which is a large majority of our school, 
Make sure that you make every attempt to be here. Obviously, if you're sick, then stay home. But make every attempt to be here and get it done so that we minimize the amount of makeup. Some of you are taking more than one or two exams, so you don't want to have to take that many exams at a makeup day. Also, be here on time, okay? Testing starts at 8 o'clock. We need you to be here and be present to take the exams. Next thing, this is for seniors. Believe it or not, seniors, uh, the year is coming to an end. There are a very limited amount of days left. You need to make sure you have your fines paid if you want to go to prom, which is only two weeks from Saturday. So you need to get your fines taken care of, parking fines, textbook fines, media fines. Go to the correct person, find out what you have, get that done so that you can buy a prom ticket. Um, also, make sure that you are here. Remember tardies, and those of you know who I'm talking to. If you rack up the amount of tardies and unexcused absences, you will not be going to prom. Okay, let me say that again. You will not be going to prom. So make sure you are here, school comes first, then you get to do the extracurricular stuff. Along with that comes grades. Make sure your grades are up. I'll be meeting with several seniors this week. Hopefully, your grades are up and you are not failing because that's another thing. You will not be going to prom. Okay, remember that. Our goal is to get you to graduate. You need a 2.0 and you need to be passing your classes. Take this time seriously. Make up any missing work so that you can take advantage of all the activities we have for seniors in the next coming weeks. Um, this goes out to the entire student population. Let's remember dress code. We have a dress code. You need to adhere to it. If not, you will be spending time with Mr. Nichols in ISS. So make sure you are covered up, especially with the warm weather coming. Um, and then the last thing I have is for the sports. We have several teams competing this week. So good luck to baseball, who will be playing today. Good luck to softball, who will be playing tomorrow and to our track, uh, both teams on Friday. We have a track meet actually here. So please represent Laylee well, and good luck to all, and have a great day.